it's just to me you gotta you gotta be honest with yourself beforehand before you go there. Mm -hmm. And I know I mean the back of everyone's mind, I mean everybody wants to walk out at WrestleMania and all that kind of stuff. But because they have a way. Yeah. And you know just like I said, like I mentioned Disney and Lucasfilm, I mean if you go to work for Google or Microsoft, there's a way of doing things. Yeah. You know, you go if you're if you work in politics and you go work for a certain senator or congressman or governor or whatever, they have a way that they run their administration or their office. Or yep. You got to do it their way. You know, you and that's just you know how or you know in the music business there are you know people who want do certain kinds of songs, the record company wants you to do something different. Yep. It's... The record company wants you to do something they can put on the pop station, and you want to do your angsty, emo rock kind of thing, and they don't want you to do that. Yep. It's... And Welcome to the job market. <laughs> yeah. And so you have to decide for yourself ahead of time, beforehand. So if you want to do emo rock music, then you don't go to the you know, you don't go to the top 40 record company because yeah. they're going to want you, you know, they're going to want you to dye your hair blonde and sing pop songs. Pretty much. Pretty much. So. Uh, you know, you're going to want to, you know, walk around with, you know, golf clothes on and, you know, do something different. Then it's just not going to work. Yeah. You know, the, the record company wants you to be Taylor Swift and you want to be something different. And if, if, if you can't go do that, then you don't sign there. Yeah, you don't go to work for that record company. No, you're absolutely right, and I think that's, you know, what a lot of these, uh, what a lot of these wrestlers don't take them because everybody, everybody wants to be a star, you know, and, and there'll be a lot of people that will say, you know, not everybody on the independent scene wants to go to WWE. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. I, I can promise you, whether they openly admit it or not, because everybody wants to be the cool kid that you know that, and it's cool right now to not want to go to WWE. But I can promise you, and I've told you this personally, I would leave my job tomorrow for our truths job. You know, and I, I, I'm sorry, I, anybody who says differently is BSing you, because our truth makes a lot of money being our truth, and there's a lot of times you don't see our truth on TV, and our truth is still making our truth money. So, um, you know, please, please give me that gig tomorrow. Yeah. You know, I guess I'm kind of in that place where I kind of sympathize with them, but then I kind of don't. Yeah. Uh, because, and in, in the case of wrestling, like they're not, Vince isn't snatching 18 year old kids up off the street and signing them to, you know, 20 year contracts like right. the record business does. Right, right. Uh, like you're coming, I mean, people coming in there in their mid 20s at the youngest, mm -hmm. they've been around for. They, I mean, they know people who've been there. Yeah. So they're not clueless of how it works, how it is there. And, you know, and and especially when you get to people who are, like, re-signing and re-signing and re-signing. I mean, like, Dustin Rhodes called him, you know, like, oh, it was like a prison. It was like a really nice prison. Like, yeah. dude, you were signing contracts there into your 40s. Yeah. Okay, like, you didn't, you didn't sign there at 18 and then leave at 21. Okay, you were re-signing and re-signing and re-signing. You kept going back there, dude. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's well into your 40s. You could have gone to ROH. You could have gone to Impact. You could have gone to Japan. You could have worked. You could have just worked indie as Dustin Runnels if you really wanted to get out of there so bad. Yeah. And you didn't. Yeah. And it kept going back. And now, I don't know if you just saw it, but uh, Mike and Maria Pinellas, I mean, everybody thought they were going to leave, you know. And everybody just knew they were out of there. Oh yeah, they've had they've had a foot out the door now for six months, if you believe the internet. Yeah, and, and they just resigned for five more years. And to me, that to me that's polarizing. To me, a Sean Spears leaving, a, a Kenta leaving, a John Moxley leaving. Okay, yeah, like you said, make some waves. And it, but this this sense of oh there's this mass a guy used to use the term mass exodus one time with me on twitter and i blew him up about it there's this, this you know, sense of this mass exodus of people trying to get out of wwe of, of the 
people that I could think of that would have reason to leave, Mike and Maria Kanellis are near the top of that list, and uh, Shinsuke Nakamura sits at the top of that list of people who, if you believe the internet, would be the ones to be the first ones out the door, yet all of them have re-signed the contracts. Mike and Maria Kanellis, Shinsuke Nakamura, AJ Styles, all that, those are, to me, that's m more telling of how things are actually going in WWE than Hideo Itami, you know, John, or, uh, John Moxley, and, you know, Ty Dillinger leaving. Well, yeah, and so, and then, you know, Kevin Owens resigned last year. Kevin Owens resigned for five years. He did, he did, yeah. yes. So, I mean, another, like, he's another, you know, these, you know indie icons. That, mm -hmm. You know, if, if he hated it there, and, I mean, there, and there are people who really wish he did hate it there. Yeah. That sort of thing. But he signed for five more years. Yeah. And so, you can't really judge the whole thing by a couple of people. And yeah. Everybody in the situation differently. Right. And I've said this on a few other times, you know, every wrestling company has people stuck in catering. Yeah. There are people with impact who don't get on TV like they want to. There are mm -hmm. people now nah, like, I watch ROH and they'll go there are people who won't be on TV for a whole month yeah. at ROH because of the way they're taping thing goes. Yeah. So I mean there there are people ring I me mean, on uh, New Japan has people who are quote unquote stuck in catering. Yeah. So if you're stuck in catering in one place, there's a good chance you're gonna be stuck in catering if you go somewhere else. Well, and that's where you have to be patient. And, and I, I use, again, I go back to our truth because how often do we go where we go weeks, months on end, and we don't see our truth on TV? We don't see him. He, he was non like, I forgot he was with the company at one point. And then all of a sudden, our truth is everywhere again. And, and you never know when you're going to get that moment. And if you. Play, by, play the company game, because every company's got a game. You do it the way they want it done. Eventually, you'll find yourself back on TV, and when you do, you take the, you take advantage of that moment. And, and I really think that's why R-Truth resonates with me the way he does, is because he's out there, he looks like he's having a good time. He's not, and for my money, if you take all the people who left, if you take their opinions at face value, R-Truth should have left the company 10 years ago. Um, he was at one point. He was he made him run a pay per view against Cena. Yep. And then, you know, not even a year later, they switched him into that comedy role. Right. And he was he, he was the NWA World Champion at one point. Yep. So he could have yeah I mean he could have very pulled he could have very easily pulled the I'm a serious professional wrestler. Yep. You know, or, and got about it there, and he didn't. Yep. And you know. You know, I think, but and sometimes you know, you just have to. If, like you said, you, if you, you you know, if you're patient and you're willing to do things the company way, like to every company, every organization has a way. And if you're willing to take the ball you get and run with it, or if you're willing to at least, or if you're willing to to go to them and say, look, this is what I want to do, this is the way I want to do it, and if you want me to succeed here, this is what we got to do. Yeah. I mean, it's one of the other, you got to, you know, it, that, that's just how it works. And, you know, like, so we see that with our truth And we see, like, with, you know, with Zack Ryder. Mm -hmm. you know? like, there are people who wish Zack Ryder was miserable. They, they want him to be miserable. They yeah. Want him to feel you know, I mean, just because, I mean, you know, I've seen some of his, you know, some of the Twitter exchanges, and it's like, man, why can't you get out of there? And you know, and then he shows you how he, you know, he go, how he's able to go spend, you know, ten thousand dollars on figures. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Again, please sign me up for Zack Ryder's job. You know. And um, and so and and now I'm sure at some point he wanted to be, you know, yeah, of course he wanted to be a main eventer at some point. But you know, either I mean, I'm assuming he looked at the bigger picture and said, you know what, because of this job, I can do all of this. Yep. And and there are people, and that's not bad. That's not a bad thing because you know another thing you see on Twitter is that people like him get kind of you know oh well, he's just a 
he's a shill, he's a lackey, he, you know, he's a bootlicker, he doesn't have any aspiration for himself, you know, and, like, no, no, you know, people can be legitimately happy working there. Yeah. And John even said that in, I think it was the Wade Keller interview, he even said that, look, there are people happy there. Yeah. So, and he also said that, you know, basically, like, y'all don't know, y'all don't really know how it is backstage. Right, right. And he's right, we don't. I mean, even now, you and I are clearly speculating with what we think, you know, as fans, and, and what we see from talent that seemingly is happy, and, and to people who would, by internet wrestling community standards, be miserable, aren't. And, you know, I, I think that's the, that's, that to me is more telling than people who are trying to get out. Because any company in the world, any type of industry in the world, there are just going to be people who don't fit in with a company that they're in and they leave the company.